Hello friends, welcome to a new session for Scratch Programming for Kids. Okay, so here in this session we are going to have a game. So first time we'll be creating a game here and that game name is the Shark Attack. Okay, so you might have seen the Hollywood movies also based on similar kind of concepts. So my game is to Shark is eating small fishes and uh, based on that we are going to create a animated game small animated game with shark eating these small fishes and based on the number of fishes that the shark has eaten will maintain your score okay so let's see a shark animation game okay so let's create a new file again and as i told i i want the animated character here is a shark okay so shark and a small fish will be there so they'll be uh, having a communication between them so let's see this one i just open my first uh, a new file over here and just uh, delete my sprite okay i need a shark okay so uh, for that i i want to take i have to take the shark from the uh, sprites controls here so let's go for that and check for the shark sprite search for a sprite Let's check uh, shark is there. Yeah. So this one. Yeah. This this is useful for me. Shark 2. Okay. So let's take on the shark 2 here. And let's see how many costumes that uh, shark is having here. The first is this and this is second. Third is this. Okay. First one and two are good for me. So I just can make use of these two costumes. And based on that. Okay. Or third costume. That's also good. That also we can make use of and uh, along with the respective shark i require uh, one more thing that is uh, the fish but before that let's animate the shark separately inside the sea so let's go for backdrop so i want a backdrop like underwater okay let's take this underwater backdrop okay so shark is there inside the under the sea underwater okay and now let's animate the shark first uh, but just by following the mouse pointer okay by following the mouse pointer so let's go for uh, the another event like when i click the green flag then your animation should get started and this should be forever so for forever i'll just go to control and let's take the forever block from here okay then uh, wherever the mouse pointer is pointing on that particular position will move the shark's head or face okay point to the mouse pointer after that we'll move 10 steps so let's take this 10 steps okay and uh, then we'll wait for a few amount of the time so let's wait for almost 0.1 seconds okay this will create a good animation 0.1 second okay and after that okay after 0.1 second let's change the costumes okay so let's change the costume so let's go for this uh, next costume that we can use from here next costume fine and uh, after that uh, if the shark is on the edge let's bounce back okay when shark is on the edge let's go to motion and uh, if on edge bounce back okay simple so this is how the simple animation that uh, we form when I click the uh, flag then forever we have to point towards the mouse pointer. So the shark will follow the mouse pointer. We move 10 steps and then wait for 0.1 second and then next costume. So the costume will get changed after 0.1 second. And when the shark reaches to the edge it will bounce back. Okay. Let's see. I will just make an animation for this. Now see. The shark is now following the mouse pointer okay like this okay fine so let's stop this okay fine uh, oh one more thing that we need to uh, look for so I, I just want to settle down the shark against original position so let's make this 90 okay and maybe original position is here for example so I need to use my positions go to this okay so minus 152 to 83 like that so whenever i just uh, 
start my animation the shark will start from the same position okay close this again when i start okay so it will be started from the same position okay fine okay that's it after this uh, we'll be adding one more fish and uh, the shark will try to eat that particular fish so when uh, the particular fish goes inside the mouth of the shark then it will disappear so it means that it is eaten by the shark okay so let's go for adding one more uh, sprite from here so let's go to the sprite and let's check for the fish see so many fishes are there let's take this fish okay uh, that's fine but uh, the size is somewhat bigger so let's make it 50 percent here size is 50 okay now uh, let's animate this particular fish moving in forward and backward direction continuously okay forward and the backward direction so let's see this one i just chosen the fish so when i click the flag then when uh, until it touches the shark okay so when un unless and until the particular fish is not touching or it's not going inside the mouth of the respective shark we just have to move it forward backward forward backward so for that purpose we are having a loop that is called as repeat until some condition okay so repeat until condi condition means when it is not touching the shark so where that condition is you just go to sensing and you can check it out touching here the condition is touching okay where it's touching to the shark too okay repeat until it's not touching the shark too go okay. okay 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 so in this way we are going to make use of it and uh, let's go for the motion move 10 steps ahead okay if it is on edge then bounce okay if on edge then bounce and after that just use the wait for 0.1 seconds here okay so let's see 0 0.1 second okay like this so it will just move forward and backward forward and backward like this so let's run this check it out forget about the uh, shark is just doing its task separately okay 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 let's check it and focus on the sh the fish what it's exactly doing over there check it out so it's just moving forward and backward direction if i move my mouse towards it so check it out what happens okay it has stopped it has stopped only stopped remember okay it has not done any other operation it has stopped only just on the same place because my condition is uh, completed over here it is becoming false and then this loop is completed okay that's my uh, the biggest problem present over here so as soon as the particular fish goes inside the mouth of the shark i need to hide it i need to hide it so we are having one control here it's called as height it just can make use of this it's in the looks okay see height so let's hide it uh, but initially it, uh, we have to show it okay if it is shown or not shown here you have to show show and hide so let's try it again now see this one how it is eating let you have to check it yeah see this one <laughs> it has eaten the uh, particular fish okay you can check it fine got this now let's stop this now uh, after two seconds we have to show it again after two seconds we have to show it again so let's use a loop control okay let's go for forever loop for this also when i click okay check it where i put that forever loop okay all the operations are done forever and hide after the operations are hidden after hide is completed then we have to wait for let's wait for two seconds and after two seconds again it will start showing okay hide and wait for two seconds again it will go up and forever show and perform the similar operations again so after two seconds again the fish will be shown and again it's possible for the shark to eat the fish again let's see see it's there let's eat oh yeah let's take it okay oh sorry touch it touched over there that's why it was problem let's eat it again yeah okay yes we have eaten it again we can eat it okay yes see it's after two seconds become visible again fine this is the way that we are eating the respective uh, 
fish again and again even we can maintain the count of it how many number of times the shark has eaten the fish so let's try that one i'll just close this stop it and let's create a variable let's go to the variables make a variable so store the values let's make this variable name as a score okay so let's go to okay score variable will be visible here you can check it out now let's see repeat until operations are there so before uh, this is when it's completed it's, it means that the shark has got the fish okay so after this after this particular statement we have to change the variable by one before it's going to be hidden okay here change score variable by one let's see so here i put score variable by one when as soon as the shark is eating the fish we are setting the score variable y1 but changing sorry changing score variable by one so let's try it let's see so it 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 yeah one check the score yes score is one let's go again it score is two okay 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 let's eat it again yes three check it out so i'm changing the score variable by one when is when does eating the particular fish yes perfect yes <laughs> so this is the way that we can yes it like we can maintain the score of how many number of times the shark has eaten the fish so this is how a small simple animated game is possible but uh, see i i just uh, the waiting time is given 0.1 second you can just uh, decrement more so it will be more interactive animation is possible so let's hit it again yes nine okay so this is the way shark attack game with the fish is possible you just make the changes we just create your ideas use your ideas and animate and create the games as per your logic happy coding and thank you